You've actually been warned it's going to happen, Shaka. People are going to make fun of you today on Extra Time. What is that? Wait, what have I done? Uh, welcome into Extra Time. Shaka Hislop here with me, Kay Murray, in the studio. Stevie Nichol, Don Hutchison and Colin Udo with us. And you can see that Stevie and Don are delighted because they know <laughs> that Colin has already been making fun of Shaka. Yes. And they are all for yes, Uncalled Colin. for. Totally uncalled for. <laughs> I'm sitting there quietly, minding my own business. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Leave Shaka's face out of this. <laughs> <laughs> well, Shaka, you, you, you know you deserve it, Shaka. What have I done? <laughs> what have I done? <laughs> Colin! What? I like Colin. Shaka, what have you done? I'm liking Colin. Oh. This is a great start. Would you like uh, to come back tomorrow, Colin? Colin? <laughs> and the next day. And the next day. And the next no, day. No, no, no. All right. Uh, first question is for Colin from Jerome Ashkenazi. He says, welcome to the circus, Colin. Are there any burgeoning talents in AFCON that will make a splash in a big league in the coming years? Well, look, the, the, the thing is, it's, it's so different these days, unlike in the past where you had, um, it, it was almost like you didn't have the kind of resources that are available now. But these days, it, it's so easy. You can see everybody, whether it's um, at the AFCON or before. So you find that most of the time that you would look at 19-year-olds, 20-year-olds, they're already in Europe and they're coming back from Europe to, um, to, to Africa. So I, I wouldn't point, look, there are a number like uh, Morocco's um, chair, but they're already in Europe. So it's hard to say this person will make a big splash in, in, in the coming years. Yeah, so you have to all keep your eyes open and then you can see and decide for yourself who could be making a big splash. Uh, Don, the next question's for you. Which signing is United's number one priority? A defensive midfielder or a world-class box-to-box midfielder? Well, I think that question's a good one and I think you can buy all of those positions in one player and that's Declan Rice. I think Declan Rice is everything. I was talking to Dion Dublin today and we were talking about the the box-to-box -box number eight midfield players of yesteryear and people like Steve McMahon and Brian Robson and uh, Patrick Vieira and Emmanuel Petit and Paul Ince. And, you know, and Stevie will tell you, back in the day, when you played as a central midfield player, you didn't, you weren't a cam, you were, you weren't, a, you didn't have all these initials on your back. You just had a, whatever number you got and you played the position. And I look at Declan Rice and in games, he can be a holding midfield player. The next moment, he could be a number eight. The next minute he's driving forward as a number 10. I think, and I was saying to Dion today, unless I've missed anyone out, I think the bright young talent, the two of them, in my opinion, I think is going light years ahead of anyone else, unless I've forgot someone. I think it's Jude Bellingham at Borussia Dortmund and Declan Rice at West Ham. Those two kids are going to be, and are at the moment, but going to be absolutely phenomenal. Uh, well, let's talk more about Manchester United. Harry Cusano wants to know Stevie. Everyone is quick to blame the players at United, but you've often said, give them an excuse to underperform and they will take it. Has the upper management provided them with that excuse? Absolutely. Yeah, when the, the, the upper management has been getting bashed for as long as I can remember now, and while that's happening, then the players just seem to be letting them take it. and. And even when they don't perform, then upstairs and, and Ollie in particular will get bashed again. And, and so they've they've really come under no pressure whatsoever. The play what two and a half years really? They've, they've they've just coasted along, not producing consistently what they're supposed to be at Manchester United. Um, and so they've they've you know they they don't look as though as a group of players they've done anything to take any pressure off anybody uh, because the only way they can do it is by performing on the field and they haven't done it consistently for for a long long time so yeah yeah they they <laughs> they don't look that bothered <laughs> Uh, Colin, don't think extra time so easy to just make fun of Shaka. You also get some difficult <laughs> questions as well. You didn't make fun of me in extra time. You made fun of me during the show. <laughs> during the show. And the section of the show that it makes fun of me, it just, he's, all, he's all sensible. <laughs> Colin, are you ready? It's a difficult one. It's from Ritwick. It says, for Colin, Salah, Drogba or Eto? Oh, Start oh, one, oh, oh. bench one, drop oh. one. Oh, oh my oh. word. Why does anybody Ooh, give you something like that? Oh. TV, TV should take that. that that's you can, right. They'll all take it after you because it's a great question, but you have to answer first, Colin. Yeah, okay, so um, I'd go with Eto 
just because he's um, he's been um, one of the highest goal scorers in, in African football, the Afghan uh, Afghan Nations Cup, he's been top scorer multiple times. Um, and um, bench uh, Drogba, and unfortunately Salah hasn't done much at Afghan, so I sell Salah. Can't believe that, Stevie. Here you going with that? <laughs> <laughs> Tell you what, it's very difficult to get away from Samuel Eto'o. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I mean, Samuel Eto'o does, you know, listen, Salah's a goal scorer. But after that, you know, could you play him as a, as a number nine? Could he hold the ball up? I mean, you know. <laughs> so I'm afraid, I'm afraid, I'm going to ha I'm going to have to uh, agree with, with Colin. Shaka. I mean, it's a great, mind, it's, Colin. Uh, by the way, it's got to be one of the, it's got to be one of the best questions we've ever had. Yeah. Because it's a great question. I'd like more of these, it's by the way. It's 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 good. Good. Stevie's shoulders are shaking. Wow. <laughs> this yeah. is a great question. Is it going yeah. to get Shaka to well, agree like... with both Colin and Stevie? It, it is. Um, yeah. I, I can't oh, get it. away from, I can't get away from starting Samuel Eto'o. He's bottled it. With everybody. No, I'm... Samuel Leto is, is, is my starter. I'm, I'm going, I'm going bench Drogba and drop Salah just because I think Drogba gives you something so different from the other two. So if you had to call it for whatever reason it's not working, Drogba just gives it such a, such a different look than, than Salah. So Don, if Shaq has bottled it, what are you saying? <laughs> oh, well, I'm going to be, and I, obviously I'm going to be in the minority here because I'm going to be the biggest loser. I'm going to start Drogba. I'm going to bench Salah. And there's no room for Eto. Oh, my what? goodness. What? Done. Get out. Wow. <laughs> just wow. You're right. You're right. Get out. Ooh. <laughs> get to court. Get to court. I'm just yeah. taking the pressure off. Shaka, I'm taking. This is what I'm doing just as a teammate. Contrarian. Is, is a former teammate, Kay. I'm taking the pressure off Salah so Colin can have a go at me instead of having a go at Shaka. That's a good teammate. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, don't worry. You guys have got some tough questions, too. Right, Don, the next one's for you. Don, please explain how Rafa still has a job. We look absolutely dreadful. <laughs> Two wins in 13, and he's trying to get rid of one of your best players being Dinia. Uh, how do you answer that? Because how he's still in a job, I'll never know. And I said, Kay, I said whenever it was a year ago, this will end in tears. And it was nothing to do with Rafa's red side or blue side, because I've done that as a player. I just felt it a strange, a strange fit. And when you're at a club like Everton, you can't have a record of one or two wins inside three months. Trying to sell Luca Dean because you've had a bit of a fallout. We don't know what the fallout is. Luca Dean might have been passionate. That's good. There's young kids like Anthony Gordon uh, and Lewis Dobbin are sort of saving Rafa a little bit at the moment. Yes, I mean, mitigating circumstances, yes, he's had so many injuries. The only good thing about the 3-2 win the other day against Hull is I believe he got minutes uh, um, into Andre Gomez, he got minutes into Andros Townsend, Damari Gray was excellent, and he started getting minutes into some of his better players, if you like, but Everton can't be where they're at the moment and Evertonians are going to be happy. No way, no way. So Rafa at the moment is a lucky man, and they've got Norwich at the weekend. Everton. And I'm afraid it's one of them games. If they don't beat Norwich, then that could be it. All right. Uh, and to another question for you, Don, but Shaka as well. So I'll start with Shaka. Is it time for Newcastle to call Big Sab? No, God, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. 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 Yes. Newcastle will be what? all right. We'll be okay. That wasn't me who said, who said yes. Was that Steve Colin. or Colin? Colin. No. Yeah, oh, Colin said goodness. yes. Colin, no. Out, Colin. Delete Big Sam's out. number out of your phone. There's going to be Colin, get out. No, I'm only joking. All right, um, Don, no. is it time? Why? No. No, well, right, why? no. Eddie Howe, Eddie Howe's been through the door <laughs> two minutes and he's not even had a January window yet. Come on. <laughs> if we beat Watford at the weekend, one of the worst sides in the Premier League, Watford, defensively. If Emmanuel Dennis doesn't play, we've got a massive chance of beating Watford. Then all of a sudden, Burnley gets sucked in. Watford are sucked in. Norwich have already gone. We can do this. Come on, Shaq. We can do you this. You can do it, Dom. We can second. do it. We'll be, right. be all right. Don't worry. 
We'll be all right. Hey. Go on, Stevie. <laughs> okay. Hold on, Don. A, a few days ago, we were on, you and I were on, and yeah. you were talking about Eddie Howe when yeah. he got the job. Yeah. You you panicked because he's he's averaged like 65 goals a season defensively yeah. since since yeah. he's been in the Premier League, something like that. So how yeah. can you take him over Big Sam, regardless of whether you like to watch the way they play or not? He gets no job. chance of staying because up because Big because Big Sam, Stevie, the the project with Big Sam, and I love Big Sam. And the project, and normally what happens with Big Sam is he comes into the job, he gets a team safe, which is fantastic, but yet he's always sort Who of like cares? then kept on. Get the team no, safe I'm and not... then fire him. Who's bothered? You, you, Don't care. No, you can't just get a man in, keep him safe and fire him. Well, well you can't have a project. It's dead easy, by the way. If you've got that much money, you go, excuse me, Sam, I want a favour. I want you to keep us up, and if you do, I'll give you the biggest bonus you've ever had in your career, just to keep us in this Howe, league. And if you, you do that, I'm just off. telling you that you'll be going back home at the end of the season. That smacks. That but smacks no, of Newcastle. No, no, let's get Eddie Howe, and let's lose no, another thousand smacks, goals, no, and we'll go down. No, that smacks of Newcastle. That smacks of Newcastle turning into Watford all of a sudden, sacking managers. <laughs> we don't want to be a Watford. We're talking about Newcastle. We're talking about Big Sam in Newcastle. Don't bring Watford in here. We can't just here. sack managers Who's every two minutes. Who's going to keep them up? Big Sam or Eddie Howe? And you're saying... Eddie Howe. Eddie Howe. I don't think so. Eddie Howe. Eddie yeah, Howe. Yeah, right. Howe? No, just, uh, Colin, it <laughs> sounded like yeah, you Howe. wanted to chip in exactly. then. Oh, yeah, I mean, like I'm saying, you can't have a project in the championship. So get him in, stabilise the team, and then you can bring in whoever you want to bring in. That's do you, two versus do you guys realise... Do you guys realise Big Sam was in charge Colin. at Newcastle? Big Sam was in charge at Newcastle about seven, eight years ago, and the Newcastle fans were throwing their season tickets on the pitch in disgust at the, the standard of footy they were Who watching. Who cares if he keeps well, them Well, Newcastle up. fans, because we're throwing the season tickets. <laughs> so what? They get rid of them at the end of the year, they stay up, and they'll all come back. There's no guarantee. Bothered. All right. <laughs> Bothered. <laughs> Give it a call. OK. Um, for the guys, uh, I'll ask you, Stevie. Do players ever think that certain referees have a bias against them or their teams, or do they just get on with the game? No, I think I think, I think every now and again you do think there's a referee that's just against you. Every single thing seems to go the other way. I mean, I wouldn't, I wouldn't think MD just... Holds a grudge forever. Just now and again, when things happen, you think, "Is this guy doing this on purpose?" Or just now and now and again, you think that. But I think at some stage, most players have, have had somebody who they think kind of goes against them. Yeah, uh, Rick Rick already won extra time tonight with his question earlier about start one, bench one, drop one. So just while we've still got Colin here, I want to get this question to you, Colin, from Lord Rhino, who says for Colin. The Super Eagles are my favourite African national side. Tell us your top three Nigerian players of oh. all time. Oh, boy, they're going to get me in trouble. They are going to get me in <laughs> big trouble. That's, what we, that's it, what we try to do on this show. Oh, goodness me. OK, so I'm going to go all the way back. And uh, I'm going to start with the former captain, Christian Chuku. He was the captain who led Nigeria to the first ever Africa Cup of Nations in 1980. And he became a coach, but he was a great defender. I mean, you could see, we call him the chairman because he just go from back to front and everything. Um, second, I would go for uh, Juan Kwakanu. I mean, I don't think I need to say any more about that. And um, the third one I would go for would be the goalkeeper, Vincent Nyama. I mean, um, he's, he was such longevity and the great thing he did and great goalkeeping. I think one of the best goalkeepers Africa has ever produced. Now I'm going to get in trouble, I know that. Not by Shaki, you know. Oh, that's right, that's right. <laughs> all's forgiven between me and you, Colin. You mentioned that, yeah, but you all's forgiven. That's all right. <laughs> no, that's but of all course, right. Of course. Don't worry, I'll take you out a lot next time in Bristol. All right, there no he problem. He's gone full circle and made a goalkeeper number one. <laughs> that made me happy. Yeah, okay. there you go. Yeah. So you, you guys, it's fine. Everything's fine now. Uh, Shaka, last question's for you. Shaka, you are famous for not paying for air conditioning. <laughs> <laughs> and sweating heavily in the hey? summer. <laughs> Do you pay what? for heating in the winter? <laughs> <laughs> Let me just say, hold on. <laughs> I do have air conditioning, but it's loud. But do you pay for it? Well, yeah, yes, I pay for it, but it's it's loud. So when we have to go on air, I have to turn it off. 
Right. Because it comes to the <laughs> mic. And, and, what, and what, how does the SEO Chaka. say that you're sweating heavily? Because, because I'm sweating. So when we, we're doing the show from home, right? We're doing the show. Okay, you should see. Honestly, I am chucking up. In, in the middle of these summers here, Chaka. I have to turn off this AC unit because it's too loud. And I kid you not, I am just sweating like never before. But then, as far as the second part Chaka. of the question is, the heat. My house is hot. It's hot. My house, well, even in the winters, I, I, I ain't playing that. My heat is turned all the way up. Fair enough. Stevie. What's, what's Stevie moaning about there? No, well, I'll tell you what, I've got a mate in Liverpool, right? If you fly him over, he knows exactly how to get into your meter and have some fun with it, and then you won't have to pay for it. Oh, Does it cost you a flight? I don't know what Get you're talking about, Stephen. I don't know what you're talking about. Get the wee silver, pimp. No, wee silver paper about. out, get it into the meter. <laughs> Bob's your uncle. That was uncle. extremely illegal, Stephen. Not that I've done it myself. I don't know what you're talking about. We do not condone <laughs> illegal behaviour here I've never seen that man, Steve Nickel, in my life. I have never seen that man in my life. I can't, no, can't never believe heard that. Of Who even? Uh, I'm neither of Who's that guy in the top corner? I, uh, I, 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 <laughs> sure. Anyway, we, we, we had we one of his mates Don. from Liverpool come on and put him in the yeah, show. Yeah, we thank Don, we thank Colin, we thank Shaka. <laughs> Not even sure who that guy is at the top one. Thanks to him anyway. Thanks to you for joining us today on yeah. Extra Time. I've started to sweat. I know. Join us again tomorrow. <laughs> Where's the aircon? <laughs>Thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+.